Okay, I got the tarp here. This is actually the rain fly from my Hennessy hammock. I have a piece of cordage on each end that's about 18 inches with a lark's head, like that. We're gonna use this instead of a pressure. Bring it over your ridge line, like this. Okay, we're gonna tie one of these off down here. So on each end, I have a piece of cordage. And this is the knot that I use instead of a prusset. I don't know if it has a name. So all I do is take the two ends and start wrapping it back and forth. Like this, nice and even. Pretty closely together. And this creates friction on the ridge line. It just wraps back and forth, back and forth, about eight times or so. And then tie it off with just a square knot. One that way, and then one this way. Square knot there. Okay, so that's one end. The other end, we're gonna do the same thing. Down here. And this works obviously for any tarp. Same thing here. We got the cordage here, the two ends. I'm gonna wrap it back and forth, back and forth. And don't worry about how tight the tarp is now, so we can adjust that. About eight times or so, and I usually tie the knot in the top. It can be tied in the bottom now. So I don't know the name of this knot. I don't believe it has a name, so. And the square knot there. Now, if you push these together, you can move everything. As soon as, it, as soon as you let go of it, there's tension here. It comes, you can't pull it, it's tight. It binds on the rope. So now I can push it together, pull it this way to tighten it, and it stays. There's no way you're gonna get that to move down. So that's how I do that. Same thing down here. This is what it looks like. With the square knot. I can push it all together and move it. And then let go of it, it spreads out, and you can't, can't pull it. It ex works extremely well. And all I have to do is take down my two corners. which we'll do really quick. The tarp will be complete. How much time are we at, honey? Two minutes on here. Uh -huh. I don't know where the other one is. I wonder how many minutes on the other one. I don't know, we can join them. Okay, we're gonna stake these down. I have two stakes already cut and a baton. We're gonna do is just tie a loop in here, or about here somewhere. An overhand knot and a blade of rope. About like that. And the other side. That's it. So that's how I set up all my tarps. Pretty much like that. Obviously there's many different configurations you can use a tarp. This is one that works pretty well. And uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions at all about any of these knots, knots or anything that you saw here, you know, please let me know. Again, this is Jeff with Raven Wilderness School and uh, thanks for watching. So yeah.